Hello everyone, welcome to the American Adventure Plaza holidays around the world in the celebration of Hanukkah. Let me see the light, give me something to live by. Let me see the light, I need something to live by. Help me see myself in my reflection. Shine tonight. Help me shed the light in each direction, shining bright. I wanna see the light. Can you feel that? Yes, the feeling of the holiday season. I look forward to this time each year as I celebrate one holiday after the next. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Simchat Torah, Sukkot. And then comes Hanukkah, the festival of light, celebrated with these beautiful Hanukkahs. Or as these nine branch candle holders are more commonly called, the Hanukkah menorahs. These are some of the menorahs of my family. Now for those of you who don't know, Hanukkah is not the biggest Jewish holiday. Why, it's not even in the Torah, our holy book. But it has become one of the most fun and one of my favorite holidays, which is why I am very excited to share my stories with you today. So Hanukkah is celebrated all over the world, but no matter where you go, the celebrations are much the same. They begin with the lighting of the candles. Now why do we celebrate with the lights of Hanukkah, you might ask, and that's okay. Asking questions is a very Jewish thing to do, and I'll tell you why. From one generation to the next, our questions are how we get our stories out. Questions are a good thing. So the story of Hanukkah begins long ago. In fact, the reason why we place our Hanukkah menorahs out here or in the windows of our own home is because we remember that time long ago when we couldn't celebrate our religious freedom. Each Hanukkah menorah has a special candle, a ninth candle which sits higher than the others, it is known as the shamish or servant candle and it is used to light the others. Now we light from left to right and we use the shamish to light one additional candle each night until all have been lit. So, on each night of Hanukkah, no matter where we are, whether in the temple, the community center, or even around the menorahs in our own home, just after sunset, we light the servant candle, which is known as the candle of remembrance. Then we all sing the beautiful blessings together. Maybe you can imagine. Baruch Adonai, Alocheinu, Malachalam, Asher Kirishanu, Mitzvotam, Ritzivanu, Lahat Likne. Then, in my family, a grandparent or parent would ask, Now, who wants to help tell the story of the Maccabees? I remember I was 12 and it was my turn. It's a true story that happened long ago when a small band of faithful Israelites rose up to defeat the armies of the Syrian Greek king Antiochus. Now Antiochus was a tyrannical king who had defiled the holy temple and ordered Israel to worship other gods. Now who was this small group of faithful Jewish villagers? Well, they were the Maccabees. Their name, Maccabee, means hammer, and they were led by the brave Judah Maccabee, or as my little brother liked to say, Judah the Hammer! <laughs> anyway, Antiochus had thousands of men with swords, bows, and arrows who were riding on elephants. You get the idea. A huge army. Well, the Maccabees had no elephants and no real weapons, but what they did have was courage and determination and after many battles with Judah and the villagers, the elephants panicked, scattering the armies, leaving holes in the army's defense system, and the Maccabees won! 
Well, the people of Jerusalem worked to repair the Holy Temple, but when the time came to rededicate the temple and relight the lamp, they could find only one vial of oil that hadn't spoiled. Well, one vial burned for no more than a day. But here's where the great miracle occurred. That one vial burned for eight days until more oil could be obtained. So today to commemorate the triumph of faith and courage over military might in the miracle of the burning oil we light one candle for the Maccabee children. Give thanks that their light didn't die. Light one candle for the pain they endured when their right to exist was denied. Light one candle for the terrible sacrifice justice and freedom demand. We light one candle for the wisdom to know when the peacemaker's time is at hand. Don't let the lights go out They've lasted for so many years. Don't let the lights go out. Let them shine through our joy and our tears. Over time, games have also become a big Hanukkah tradition. Now, who can tell me what this is? A dreidel. What's that? A dreidel. That's right, a Hanukkah toy. This is a dreidel, a very special kind of spinning top. Now, because Jews were forbidden to study Torah, the dreidel became a sort of secret way to teach the Hebrew lessons. There are four letters printed on the sides, and they are Nun, Gimel, Ke, and Shin. And they mean a great miracle happened there. Another favorite holiday tradition is giving gifts, especially to the children on each of the eight nights of Hanukkah. Just after the story in my family, we would open our gifts. These could be big gifts or small, fun, or thoughtful gifts. They are said to symbolize the gifts of light and life that came with the eight days of the burning oil. Now, it is the custom in some families to open one gift on each of the eight nights of Hanukkah, while in other homes, the children open all eight gifts in one night. These could be small gifts, such as money or gelt. These delicious chocolate coins. I have a few. Don't be shy. First come, first come, don't be shy. I'm not proud, I'll take off, thank you. Oh, oh, hi, you're welcome. In my family, the last night was for the big gift, like the year where my brother and I received blue and green bicycles. In either case, you can see why Hanukkah is so popular with the children, but now everyone agrees. The most fun and creative part of Hanukkah celebration Yes, since I was a kid, it is the parties. <laughs> I can see it now. Sing along with me or clap if you don't know it. Those were the nights of Hanukkah I remember long ago when our families got together with little eyes that glow. Multicolored candles burning on the joyous song were sung. How I miss the Nora life. When we were all so young, everyone is there. Uncles, aunts, cousins, kids from Hebrew school, even people were invited from around the block. The tables were piled high with food, and we would eat and eat to get to the most important part of the meal. That's right, jelly donuts and latkes. And the reason why we eat our foods fried in oil is to commemorate the miracle of the burning oil so long ago. Well, of course, we had potato latkes with applesauce or sour cream. We also had apple latkes, sweet potato latkes, why, even tuna latkes, in the ongoing competition between the mothers to see who could make the most creative latkes fried in oil. Yes, those are the nights of Hanukkah I remember long ago. And all the sounds of laughter from a game of Maccabee freeze tag and the delightful noises from three games of dreidel with the children all trying to win more gelt. And then the music would come on and everyone would stop whatever it was they were doing to dance the horror, followed by the songs we all sang together. And by the end of the night, the music is whatever the crowd likes. Yes, sing along with me or clap if you don't know it. Those were the nights. 
Hanukkah, I remember long ago when our families got together, little eyes aglow, multicolored candles. Yes, when I see the lights of Hanukkah, they ignite in me the feelings of family, good times and communities coming together to celebrate eight days of light and the rededicating of ourselves to be a light. And all of that is the answer to the question. Why do we celebrate with these beautiful lights of Hanukkah? Well, as generations have done before us, we celebrate these beautiful lights as symbols. Symbols of family, hope, faith, freedom, community, determination, dedication, and goodwill. And in our celebration, we pass the light on. Sing along with me or clap if you don't know this. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance a horror. Gather around the table, we'll give you a treat. So we run the play with and lots as you eat. And while we are dancing, the candles are burning low. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Everybody, one for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Hanukkah Sameach. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day celebrating holidays around the world. Please help yourself with some information. Thank you. Thank you.